If you didn't watch the last video, this is my £600 Chrysler 300C, a car that I've sort of secretly lusted for for a very long time. But as you can see, there's too much chrome on here, so we took all of the accessory chrome bits off the car, including bumpers, and it was time to strip them down, get them sanded, ready for paint, because we want to change the colour of this very cheap luxury car. But I'm going to do all of the work myself, including as well, sanding the complete car on my driveway, because of course, as usual, how hard can it be? I then the next day took the bumpers down to TW Body Repairs and was instantly laughed at because I made some really bad mistakes very early on. The thing with painting cars, and again, I'm no professional, is that you've got to make sure the edges are correct. Although I thought I'd got as many edges right as possible, just like the edges around the rear lights here, what you will actually see is that I thought going to this edge here would be enough around the car turns out it's really not <laughs> i have then subsequently spent around two or three hours down at tw body repairs massive thank you again to terry for letting me come and basically disrupt his whole business with my complete stupidity but i had to go over the bumper again pretty much completely i hadn't gone to as many edges as i wanted to or as i should have and i noticed tons of problems not necessarily with the bumper themselves but the prep work and i've noticed early on very very quickly in this whole process is getting the sanding and the preparation correct is going to be the hardest part here it is massively down to the prep work which of course i've done terribly terribly badly straight away with <laughs> We're interrupting today's video to show you guys the new release on FYD. We have three new stickers. As you can see, I've put them on the back of the Mighty Budget 300C today. We have B-Road bashing. We have the FYD apparel just there in old English text. And of course, we had to bring back the much requested Dreams Arch logo. These are sold separately and are available right now. Link is in the description. Support the brand, support the channel. Channel, go and grab yourself some stickers FYD apparel link is in the description. Let's get back to the video So we're jumping back on the prep work I don't want to show too much of this because of course it is slightly boring actually watching me red scotch the whole of a 600 pound Chrysler 300 C so I'd actually done tons of prep work off camera probably a week's worth prior to me shooting this video but there was a few bits that I wanted to show you on camera like this last rear light I had already done the other side uh, but I wanted to show you guys exactly how far I really want to go with this getting the paint right in there even to places you're probably never going to see which is behind these rear lights then onto the body again where the bumper meets the rear quarter this is another spot that I did notice although I had gone over it was not as good as I wanted it to be including the doors. The doors is another thing where inside here you're going to notice very quickly even when the doors open or shut how far I've really gone into this even going down to the crevices of where the door meets the body lines. I really wanted to get this right including as well the top of the doors just here. You will see this because the paint will go through even when the door is closed you will notice this part even at the front as well i really wanted to go in and again go over completely sanding and red scotching this car because getting in all of these crevices even down to again in here in the doors something that you'll probably never notice especially on camera especially on the internet but it's something that i want to make sure i'm going to do right next up was taking the washer jets out and just going over completely into the actual crevice of both washer jets because again, this isn't something we did in the last video, but then it meant that I have literally spent four, five hours a day prepping this thing to an inch of its life. But as I've already said, the bumpers are already down at TW Body Repairs. I thought I'd let him have a little play with them and see how they came out. We will get them in a minute, but first off, let's start deleting some chrome, shall we? As we're trying to do this on a budget, I thought multiple coats 
and after you know sanding down the chrome would be the way to go here so what I did was sanded everything down I didn't show this process because I to be honest didn't think it was going to work but thankfully a lot of the paint has actually taken to the roughed up bits of chrome and we have a pretty good result now I did say I was gonna have a go at wrapping this stuff but for the sake of 15 quids worth of paint I thought I'd have a go and if not we can actually wrap to these bits when the time comes we could even wrap to them when they're on the car we started off with the rear chrome badge and as you will see it is now completely gloss black now the process for this more than anything was doing multiple layers and having a pretty much perfect sanded down base to start with so what I did was sanded everything down with the red scotch and the 320 grit sandpaper that I have and then went over it with some plastic primer then I had a little rummage around in my garage and actually found a can from when we painted the ML if you guys don't remember we actually graffiti painted my ML 500 and I had a few cans left so I threw that on top of the plastic primer and then after a ton of coats from that and the plastic primer I got literally the cheapest home bargains gloss black and threw that over the top now again this is not the right way to do it but it's an easy cheap and quick fix just for now because we might still go down the road of completely raptor lining these parts but at least they've got a bit of paint ready for maybe maybe if we do that but again for the sake of 15 quid I thought I'd have a go and this is one of the trims from the windows and as you'll see just come out of the light it's actually come out really really well now I don't know how durable this paint is going to be in the long run we will though find out because again in this series I do want to sort of have a go at doing this stuff on my own and seeing what it's like and the process but then the longevity of what these parts might be like down the road so we will see how long this lasts how long this paint lasts hopefully it does because it came out really really well and i feel like the gloss black contrast against what we're going to do with the raptor is going to be such a good look and i thought do you know what we will go down the route of painting the door handles the door handles that are plastic chrome on the car and see how it comes out now the back door as you can see blue peter style there is done lovely actually came out really well in fact it's uh, been cured overnight in the sun look at that cured overnight in the sun it's been cured in the sun there's a bit of dust on it i'm not going to scratch it and take it off but it's actually all right the issue comes though when you buy cheap paint this is sometimes what happens um this is the same spray can that i bought i bought five of them four of them being fantastic black the fifth one that's grey, mate. That is a 100% a grey colour. Why is it grey? I didn't ask for grey, I wanted black. And do you know what the worst thing is? This is the last thing I painted black and I ain't got no more black, so I've got to go home bargains again. <laughs> now, I suppose this comes with the territory of doing stuff on the cheap, but I'm happy with how that came out. This is the same can, black there, and then grey, because that is grey, and then grey because that is grey isn't it now I can easily fix these things by just again spraying black over the top but it's just annoying isn't it but thankfully now all this is done except for the grey wing mirror and uh, passenger door handle we have now let's go and get the front bumper and the rear bumper and see how they've come out right I've put them in my garage I've built them up mate these look on a budget so sick if you are up for doing this to your car it takes ages <laughs> and it's relatively cheap i will go through costs at some point but this looks sick they are very dusty i will say that now sorry about the dust everyone put it on the floor try not to scratch it i mean it's raptor it's not going to scratch is it not as much as usual i'll take you through the bumper and explain a few things but oh. <laughs> so i'm happy to show you guys the process of what is happening here but here we are with the, not the finished bumper because it's not exactly how I want it to be yet, but I've rebuilt it. I have all of the Raptor is done. Again, there is tons of marks on it and stuff because it has been sat in the back of a car. It's been in my shed for a minute. Next to the Series 1 actually, shout out to Series 1. And it's been in the body shop. There's been loads of dust on it. So we will get to that part once the car is complete and finished so we can wash it properly. But as you will see, there is, yes, some remnants of spray here, which I'm a little bit um and an R about. I will be able to sort that out. But 
we'll just go to here and show you guys this sorry about the dust again but i'm showing you every part of the process because you will go through this this isn't some staged thing this is real life i've picked these up put them in the shed and here they are and as you can see the grill came out really well actually i'm really really impressed with how the grills come out the contrast between the matte or satin look against the gloss black has come out absolutely epic i'm so so happy with that as you can see this side is the same got the running lights in there to keep the oem look but mate <laughs> i'm so impressed with that and then next to the front bumper we have the rear bumper which is again relatively complete i still do need to go around and just black out some little bits like the parking sensors we didn't want to wrap to these just in case they just consistently went off so i'm actually going to spray these with a can black and throw them back in but as you can see i've done the chrome going along there in gloss black again these are very dusty these aren't scratches that's just from moving around in and out of cars and in and out of my garage but i want to give you a real life perspective as to what is going on here there's no point in me cleaning all this off and showing you that point of the finished result because i want that to be on the car when it's done so this is how far we have got we have got the bumpers to this i'm going to say it's satin at this point it's such a lovely look and color and the texture is actually very surprising i thought it was going to be a lot more rough than this and a lot more unfinished looking but it really isn't in fact this corner just shows exactly how good this stuff is and how spraying out of a gun with a professional will actually get you a really good job if you do all the prep work right. Remember, I took ages, like probably each bumper has taken me eight hours, probably seven hours of solid sanding, breaking down, getting right to actually get to this point. So I'm really, really happy with these results. But of course they are not done yet. We have a few more tweaks we need to do, a little bit more fettling, but they're done, they're here. We can move on to the car. You may be asking yourself why we've done the bumpers to start with. Well, time frame more than anything. As I was re-sanding tons of parts on here and blacking out the chrome, we thought we'd get these in during downtime at TW Body Repairs. Although he doesn't have much of it, he was only able to fit in these little bits and bobs, which I'm still eternally grateful of him doing. So thank you so much again to TW Body Repairs. Although he doesn't want to say that this is the right way to paint a bumper and you know do all your prep work yourself, I just appreciate he's picking up the spray gun and letting us have a little play with this car. But you'll be happy to know that this is the only part that I'm going to let someone else spray, which is the physical bumpers. We've built everything back up. We sprayed all of the chrome black, but I feel like I'm gonna have to have a proper go at spraying the complete car myself in a spray booth because that was always the plan i wanted to spray the physical car myself get terry to actually show me the process of how it is done and hopefully i don't mess it up on my own car that's the whole idea here <laughs> so we will end today's video with this shot of the bumpers pretty much completely done the car is near enough ready for spray i'm very excited about this as you will tell but thank you so much for watching today's video if you did like this style of video if you did like this video series let me know in the comments below what else would you have changed what else would you have done different and i'm really excited to get this thing in the spray booth and we'll get this complete car looking menacing and just so so cool but thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one